Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. It's a terrific Tuesday, and if you are a fan of maritime exploration, then this month has kicked off in a really good way for you. Indeed it has. In fact, for those of you who were lucky enough to attend, the full might of the, of the South African Navy was on display this past month as the holy grail to fans of maritime exploration got underway at the SA Navy Festival in Simonstown. Now, we decided to find out what it takes to join the South African Navy and the different career options available for those looking for a bit more adventure if I can say so. Well, take a look at this. If you're someone who enjoys adventure, can follow orders, and you're looking for a new career, the South African Navy offers a number of options depending on your interests. When a person typically joins the Navy, they will join the Military Skills Development Program. That is a two-year program. They'll start off by going to SA Saldana for three months of basic training. To be able to join the Navy, the minimum requirement for the ages between 18 and 22 is a matric certificate. For people between the ages of 22 and 24, we will accept if they've got tertiary education. For us, it's very important that people have maths or pure maths and science. While the Navy is not for everybody, if you can handle the training that goes into keeping our nation's water safe and secure, one route is to become a dog handler. The Navy will further develop you, which means if you need to study at a university, they will pay for your studies. If you need to do any military courses, they will pay for those military courses because that would be part of your career plan and development, which the Navy is responsible for. The Navy offers three groups of careers, combat for the action lovers, technical careers for the MacGyvers, and support positions for the communicators. As a dog trainer and a dog handler, we normally provide security in the Navy installation. Um, we have protection force in conducting foot patrols and protecting our environment. Each and every uh, handler, we've got our own dogs, but uh, normally we train with all the dogs so that all the dogs can get familiarized, normally two to three hours a day. If joining forces with man's best friend is not your thing, another alternative is to take to the high seas in a submarine. There's a whole lot of cross-training as a submarine, and you should be able to do the next man's job, apart from your specialization. If you are mechanical, you should still be able to do the stuff that the navigation people do, you should still be able to do the stuff that the electrical person does. You do a lot of cross-training, mechanical, electrical, and a little bit of navigation. The opportunities, obviously the studies, they empower you to, uh, you can come as a nobody here and then, then elevate you to that level. Besides, the development and growth is well, and amongst other things, you get to travel the world. Free. All expenses paid. Being able to travel the world for free is great, provided you don't get cabin fever. If you do, then commanding an underwater vehicle might be a better option. Behind me is the tank where we're demonstrating our remote operated vehicle. It's one of the tools we have in mine countermeasures where we use it to identify contacts that we've detected on the seafloor. We use sonar operating from the survey boat or from our mine hunters and based on those sonar images we will then have to identify the contacts to determine if it's a threat and our choices are either divers, which is putting life into danger, or using the remote vehicle. Many of the Navy's newest recruits are under 20, with a large majority starting their training early. Every Saturday I do like a, a cadet ship called Project Maritime Youth, um, where they enable um, young, like the youth, like they want to join the Navy, like they prepare them for the Navy. Like we do, we do PT, we do marching, we do drilling, we do like rope work, seamanship, like parts of the ship and naval terminology. Seamanship is in my blood, my grandpa was in the Navy, I, I have a passion for it. One day I want to become a combat officer. If seamanship is in your blood, the Navy takes new applications at the beginning of each year. So, your next chance is early 2016.